So is this in sync? Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy Malik, and I'm back on your screen with another tip for the tube. If you ever made a video with OBS or Shadow Play, a cell phone, iPhone, or whatever, video looked great, then you brought it into your editor and it was choppy, the audio wasn't synced up, and the video was just straight up stank, this is the video for you. The reason why that happens is because of variable frame rates. I'll explain more to you and show you how to get it fixed. Let's jump off into my computer and get it done. Let me start off by giving you some info on variable frame rates. Recording to a variable frame rate creates smaller file sizes, but a lot of programs won't work with variable frame rate videos. In these programs, variable frame rate videos will be choppy or jumpy and the audio will be out of sync. So. For this reason, you want to be able to change your video from a variable frame rate to a constant frame rate. Once your video has a constant frame rate, it'll stop looking as choppy as Fruit Ninja and the audio won't be like an English dub over a 1970s kung fu flick. As you can see, I have a program open. This program is called Handbrake. This program does a lot of great things for uh, video conversion. Uh, media encoding things like that. It's a free program and I will have the link to it in the description of this video So what we want to do in handbrake is we want to go to source And then we want to go to open file We want to select the file that we want to use and I'm going to use this one uh, These are videos that I took with a iPhone 6 I'm going to click on open. And as you can see now, the actual file is in Handbrake. It says source and it has the name of the file here. Now, if you don't know a lot of stuff about video, like the bit rates, the codecs, all of that stuff, then you might want to also download another free program called Media Info. And I'll be using that throughout the video to show what the settings were on the videos that I'm using on here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set the info here to chapters. It basically means that you're going to have one chapter starting off and one going out through the one. So basically you have one video and you're going to create it into another one video. So just leave it as chapters and we'll do one through one. So then you want to browse a destination for the file to be saved to. So click on browse and you can click the same folder or a different folder and just give it a name and click on save. Then you want to select the container. You could do MP4 or MKV, that's it. So I'm gonna choose MP4 and I'm gonna choose large file size just for quality's sake, all right? And now I wanna make sure that the source is correct in here. The video was 1920 by 1080 and I'm going to leave it the same at 1920 so I'm not changing anything else in this section. And now I'm gonna click on video. So under the video tab, you have your video codec. And there are several choices for the video codec. I'm gonna choose H.264. Next, I wanna to go to the frame rate. So frame rate right now is set as same as source. And the source video was a variable frame rate. So let's go ahead and look in media info and take a look at what the source information is telling us. So in media info, you can see here that the frame rate mode is set to variable and the frame rate was supposed to be 29.97, but it tells you that it has a minimum frame rate of 28.571 frames per second and a maximum frame rate of 30 frames per second. 
So the frame rate is changing throughout this video in order to create a smaller file size, basically uh, changing the frame rate as needed. So because of that changing in the frame rate, some video programs just aren't gonna like it. So I'm gonna change this frame rate here and click on constant frame rate. And then I'm going to go to the frame rate drop down and I'm going to choose 29.97. Now for the preset for H.264, if you go to the left, then what's going to happen is the video is going to be created really fast. So if you want your, uh, video to be encoded and converted really quickly, move it to the left. If you move it to the right, it's gonna take longer to create the video, but the video will have higher quality. All right, so I'm gonna leave mine on very slow. And for the tune, I'm gonna set this to film. For the profile, I'm going to leave this on main. And for the level, I'm going to leave it on 4.0. Uh, based on how you record it, uh, your audio, you could be 5.1, whatever you want to do on that. And then for your average uh, bit rate, you can either leave it on constant and then use a slider, but because we have media info, we know what our bit rate is. So I'm gonna go back to media info and we can see that our bit rate is 17.1 megabytes per second. So I'm gonna change that and this is kilobytes. So it's 10,000 basically. So I'm gonna click on average bit rate and I'll make this 17,100 kilobytes per second. So we're done with the video tab, so I'm gonna click on audio. Under the audio tab, uh, for YouTube, the best codec is AAC FF MPEG. So I'm gonna select that one. Uh, bit rate that we recorded at, once again, we can go to media info to get that information if you don't know what bit rate you recorded at or if you record it on the phone and you can't tell. So if right now I'm on the video section, but if I scroll down to the audio section, I can tell that the bit rate on here was 87, and it's variable once again for the audio as well, but it's at 87 kilobytes per second. So I'm gonna just go to 80, because it's 80 or 96, so I'm gonna choose 80. And for the sample rate, once again, this is for your audio. Let's go back to media info. Uh, I got my sample rate right here. So my sample rate for my audio is 44.1 kilohertz. So I'm gonna change this to 44.1. Uh, mix down, I'm gonna change this to automatic. And now I am done. All I gotta do now is click on start. And on the bottom of the screen, you have the progress, uh, how much time has elapsed and how much time is remaining. And when you're done, you will have a beautiful constant frame rate video. So let me drop this down. And I'm going to open up a video that I did earlier. In media info. So here's one that I did earlier. Let's open this up. And you can see on this one that I created, which is the same video that I'm creating right now with the same settings, the frame rate mode is now constant and the frame rate is 29.97 frames per second. 
And that's it, people. Let's change some variable frame rate video to constant frame rate video and get rid of the choppy jump and audio thinking errors. All right, guys, if you like the content that I'm bringing to you, do me a favor. Asme un favor. Click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Comments, leave me your comments, video ideas, questions, whatever. I will definitely get back with you because that's how I do. And last but not least, if you want more content like this on a regular basis, you got to hit that subscribe button. If you don't subscribe, you'll be missing out on the great tips and tricks for YouTube and your videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.